For every fashion lover, this is the time of the year to get excited about. It's Haute Couture Fashion Week in Paris. And in this video, I will show you the first part of my favorite looks directly from the runway. Hey, hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Dominic and I am super excited to show you my favorite looks from the spring summer 2022 collections from the Haute Couture shows directly from Paris. So hope you will enjoy these amazing creations. Oh, and if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and get some more fashion themes every week. The first looks I love are from Dior. And yes, I know, I am not the biggest fan of the work of Maria Grazia, but this collection is stunning. And especially these looks are beautiful. The first look is a fully embroidered, beautiful gown with a waterfall neckline in this beautiful soft gray color. I love that it's in the same time simple, but also very sophisticated. The next look I love from the Dior show is this coat with all this beautiful embroidery. It's not a loud look, even with all those details, but it showcases pure beauty to me. I love those little crystals that are added into the embroidery that gives it beautiful shimmer and its amazing lightness when it's in the movement. This Dior Haute Couture look is also simple and not too loud in this beautiful cream color, but the crystals and the little details make it so special and luxurious that it is very wearable. And I can imagine that a lot of rich women would love to wear this look for a charity lunch event. The next look is from the Chanel Haute Couture collection. And many of you may know I'm a huge fan of Chanel, but I want to be really honest with you. I'm a little bit disappointed about the collection. Overall, I think Virginie is not the best designer when it comes to haute couture, and she is not able to transfer those luxurious craftsmanship that the brand is known for into exceptional pieces like Carl did. In the collection, this is one look I really like. It's a two pieces look with a top that is embroidered with a beautiful fluffy bow skirt. I really love all the details in the top. And I think especially the styling together with this kind of skirt looks so young and fresh. And I really think that is a great look for a lot of young women. And it really looks young, fresh, but at the same time sophisticated. This look from Chanel is also one I really like. Even if it doesn't transfer haute couture to me too much, to be honest. It also could be a part of the Maitre d'Art collection or even something from the main Chanel collection, to be honest. But I think the combination with this beautiful white lace that is in the blouse and also coming out from the inside of the skirt is really, really cute. And I can imagine that a lot of women from all ages would love to wear it. The next designer we need to talk about is the brand Chaparelli. I love the collection and every piece so far is a piece of art. Here are my favorites of the spring summer 2022. The first look is this velvet dress with ruffles and this huge psychedelic earrings. I love the silhouette and the modern twist a lot. The next look of the collection is a huge golden coat with a large collar that looks like a hood. I especially love the texture of the coat with these golden details. And as Chaparelli is known for their amazing jewelry, I also love these huge earrings. I think they are super excited and fit perfectly to the outfit. And I just need to give you a detailed look onto the backs of the collection. Aren't they just stunning? What do you think about? Leave me your thoughts in the comments. The next looks are some of my favorites and they are from the Rami Al Ali Haute Couture collection. He presented the collection through an online presentation and I will give you a small look into. The first look I love is this one-shoulder gown 
in a soft green color with a belt and waist and this outstanding embroidery. I can see this look definitely on a red carpet and would use it for a celebrity styling for sure. The second look of the collection is a long nude color gown with a slit in the front and asymmetric chiffon tripped over the shoulder. I love the softness that makes it even more sophisticated to me. The next collection is from Alexis Mobile. The first look is a bodysuit in a gold and bronze tone lace with a huge cape that has a collar like a bow. I love that the cape is black outside and has this lining in the lovely golden color. The next look is a long gown with this rose metallic color and a row of bows in the front. I love the joy and fun that this gown transported to me and I think with the right undergarment it will look stunning on some celebrities for red carpet events. The next designer is one of my all-time favorites, Stéphane Roland. He kindly provided me some of his stunning haute couture gowns over the last years to style my celebrity clients. The first look I love is a ball gown worn by the Spanish celebrity Nives Alvarez. I love the work of her stylist Victor Blanco and I really think she fits amazingly to Stéphane Roland's collection. The gown has a big collar that looks like a crystal necklace. The front of the top has an oval shape and went into the balloon skirt. The next look from the Stéphane Roland collection is a gown that has a similar top with this oval shape but it has a white skirt and the skirt has a lot of ruffles in the back. I especially love the crystal embroidery in the waist and those huge earrings. Huge jewelry seems to be a trend for this haute couture season. This look is very clean in a cream color with white details and also that seems to be a big trend for the new haute couture season. I love the shape of the dress and especially the belt with this huge white stone and the white clothes are just amazing. I love the elegance it transfers so much to me. The next collection we need to talk about is from designer Celia Cricatonotti. And I have to say, it's the first time I see some of her haute couture collections. And I really love that this collection stands out so much from all the others. The first look I love is this neon cream dress with this neon pink cape that is draped like a bow. I love the intensity of the color and it directly gives me summer wipes. The next one from her collection is a gown in a soft blue color and it's again with a cape but this time the cape is embellished with some feathers which give it a more softer feeling. This gown again showcased some neon colors which I love. There is a bright pink corsage and a neon cream ball gown skirt. It especially looks amazing to this beautiful skin tone of the model. And I think this is a look we will also see on the red carpets very soon. The next collection is from Alexandre Boutier. The first look I love is a fully crystallized dress with cutouts on the side and this beautiful cream color. I think it's ultra sexy and looks modern, but in the same time, it still looks so elegant. The next look is a black velvet bodysuit combined with a cape, which seems to be also a huge trend for the spring summer haute couture collections in 2022. The cape is embellished with paillettes and feathers and gives the simpler bodysuit a more sophisticated character. The mini dress I adore. It's made out of black velvet and some feathers. I love the shoulders and the artificial look makes it so sexy. The next collection is from Suhar Murad Haute Couture, a designer I love too. All his designs are always super elegant and rich and give me that feeling of the big glamour. The first look is a golden gown with embroidery all over. I love the shape and the iridescent shining a lot. The next look from the Suha Murad Haute Couture collection that I really like is a long white gown with asymmetric cutouts and a slip in the front. I love this one a lot because it's super sexy and glamorous at the same time. The last collection for part one of my little video about Haute Couture looks from Paris Spring Summer 2022 is from Valentino Haute Couture. I love the collection a lot and it was so hard to pick my favorites, but here we go. The first look is one of my favorites of all looks shown so far. A highly embroidered suit. I love the asymmetric shape and the soft green color. The all over embroidery makes it so special and luxurious. And I really love the fact that it's not a gown. It's a power suit for powerful and by the way, super rich woman. The next look is a ball gown in a soft rose color. The whole gown is embroidered and I love the details with the soft gray clothes. 
The last look of my favorites from part one is a three pieces outfit with a top, white pants in white and a black silk cape. I love the fact that the look is so clean but transport a hidden romantic. What do you think about the looks? Which was your favorite? Leave me your thoughts in the comments below. I hope you had fun going with me through the spring summer 2022 Haute Couture collections part one. Stay tuned for the second part with more looks from the runway. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, follow or ring the bell. See you next week. Goodbye and auf Wiedersehen.